Welcome to news making headlines on October 20th. When a couple fights to the point that they can no longer stand sleeping together in the same bed, it could be a recipe for disaster. The Pum Chai Thai, which often likens their relationship with the Democrats to husband and wife, and their tips as a tongue rubbing against teeth, may be bracing for such a scenario as PM Apisis is coming out again with more hostile comments against them. Thai Post main headline screams, Mark or opposite threatens to kick BJT out. Thai Rat second lead says, Mark hostile says the government can survive without BJT. Tells them, if uncomfortable, get out. A cartoon from Pujat Gan pokes fun at the conflict between the so-called first couple. The left character is supposed to be Nevin with pouting lips as his distinct characteristic. His face is full of pimples, meaning he is not an attractive wife. Then appears handsome husband Apisit. Nevin says, living with you is so uncomfortable. But Apisit is blocking his nose from a stinking smell. The cartoon says, it looks like the husband is more uncomfortable. Well, the film and any saga has returned after superstar film recorded a TV program telling his side of the story. Pujit Gan says, film opens his heart, saying he has evidence against Annie. Thairat says, film's mom urges Annie to remove film's name as the father of her baby in the birth certificate. It is the first time film has given an interview after coming out of hospital, insisting he had never thought of committing suicide. He claims several people sent him evidence against Thai Swiss actress Annie, who claims Fim is the father of her baby. However, he said his immediate plan is to become a monk for some time before leaving the country to further his knowledge of a foreign language. Fim's mother says she has learned that Annie named Fim as the father of her baby in the birth certificate. But since Annie has refused to allow her baby to take a DNA test, she should remove Fim's name. In the world of crime, we have a mysterious death of an influential figure. Thairat headlines state, Mysterious shooting in the temple of Sanat's nephew. Three-time mayor dead in capital. The body of Song Kun Tian Tong was found in a greenhouse of a school far from his home. There was no trace of fighting. He was a mayor of Sakkel municipality and advisor to the Sakkel provincial administrative organization. He was the son of Vitaya Tian Hong, a time MP and brother of influential politician Sanok Tian Hong. Police suspect suicide but have not ruled out other possibilities. Sana inspected the scene and told police he did not suspect any foul play behind the death. The politician refused to talk to the media. Meanwhile, the controversial court clips involving the Democrat Party is having political ramifications. Typo's headline says, Scandalous clip works, pulling Democrats' popularity down. The Democrat Party has accused the opposition poor Thai Party of setting them up in a conspiracy surrounding five clips that show a Democrat MP lobbying the court in the party dissolution case, PM Apisit himself admits the clips have affected the party. But the PM seems to be in damaged control. Pujat Gan runs a series of headlines saying, Struggle to whitewash controversial clips. Democrats and Constitution Court appoint investigative panel. Apisit investigates Virat who will be punished if found guilty. Results in seven days. Virat Romyen is the Democrats' Ranong MP who has admitted he is the man in the clip. Pujat Gon column in Pujat Gan pokes fun at Virat in its headline, saying, Democrats send Virat to have IQ checked. Stunned. His IQ is only 20. We wrap up this program with pictures highlighting the serious flood situation. While Bangkok is being hit today by runoff waters from the north and central regions. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.